here we are then. Week four or episode four because we missed last week. It's the final one. Um, and this time we've gone with all GB guys. So rather than me talking absolute rubbish, let's drag the lot in. Here we go. We've got Quillen at the top and along the bottom. The defending champion in the middle. Forget about his worlds. Forget about his World Cup wins. Forget about the Olympics. Three times quarantine champion. We've got Coach B as well, Bloomley. He, he, he's, he says he's got the legs. Let's see if he has. He actually thought it was tomorrow, but we've dragged him in today. And then we've got the fan, probably the fastest fan that we could find anyway, current world champ of the 25-29, Cal Strickland. How are we doing, boys? Amateur Olympic champ. Say that again. Amateur Olympic champ. Amateur Olympic champ. The man who ended the reign of Robin van der Kolk. <laughs> So, Liam, how are we getting on? I heard you moving back to the UK. Yeah, uh, well, Jess and the girls, with Jess and Marlo are, yeah, so we're, uh, we're very busy at the moment, but life is good. We're, um, yeah, bit by bit moving back. Obviously, everybody's situation's a little strange, and we're planning on moving back a little bit later, but with, uh, yeah, with developments in the UK, like imposing a quarantine, flying back, etc. We decided to get that done a bit sooner rather than later. So it's probably news to you boys, actually, isn't it? Blew me in. It well, is. But yeah. It is. Yeah, so there you go. We just bring exclusives all over the place, don't there we? Go. There we go. And Quillen, you're back on track, I see, today. Yeah, first time back on track. Yeah. It wasn't, it wasn't intentional, but I ended up just uh, taking off. I've heard that you're more excited there. about... The barber's opening up, then getting back on the track. Um, well, my barber's been open the whole time, but I just thought I'd grow it out. Stephen. <laughs> Fair enough, he's strong. Yeah. Steve, Steven. Stephen is open for business. Hey, if I've heard about Stephen once, I've heard about Stephen <laughs> 20 times. <laughs> me, how are you getting on? How's uh, dad life? I'm a full-time dad now, aren't we, with, with it all being shut down? Yeah, it's not been too bad. They, they've been good as gold, to be honest. Could have been a lot worse. They've been just in the garden most days and, uh, yeah, been back in the building this week for a couple of sessions with a couple of the boys and then the other lads join us next week. Um, so, yeah, it's a bit different in there, but it's, yeah, just got to deal with it, I guess. And then we've got, we've got Cal, who hasn't really said a word yet because he's too busy writing down the titles for each round. He's so up for this. No, it's all yet. Right, shall we get on with it then? Let's go he's round not one. Yeah. He's not even listening. No, he's yeah. in the zone. He's, he's <laughs> not even got us in. He's got music in. He's just listening. <laughs> right, I'm, not, I'm just uh, making sure my health. Has here. anyone almost beat Liam yet? Uh, MJ yeah, got close, didn't he? The first one, I just wasn't live. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Wow. He'll be getting the oxygen out next. If if anyone doesn't know this, it's older. <laughs> He was he was sucking on oxygen between races. Oh, the old Shrummy uh, technique. That's where he got it from. Yeah. yeah. Oh, he's cheating. Oh, it's, it's an element. Remember when, Kurt, remember when Curtis saw him do that? <laughs> <laughs> Who do you think he got that? He ran sprint back to the team area. <laughs> oh man. Right. Should we do it then? Yeah, come on. Yeah, let's, let's go it, for it then. Round one then. Picture round. Um, Hold on a minute. How are you anyway, Sean? <laughs> I'm surviving, yeah. Cheers. I'm back, at, back at work next week, you know. So this is why it's the last one. But yeah, cheers for asking. Wait, hang on a minute. You, you go to work? Well, you know what? The best thing is I've got a summer holiday coming up in six weeks' time. Shit, I didn't realise you'd gone on holiday. Yeah, do a bit. Anyway, enough about me. Let's get on with it. You're 40 next year. Right, okay, question one. <laughs> this is the picture round then. So we're going to start off with, nice and easy, what company branding is on the helmet of this rider? So what company's branding is on the helmet of this, com uh, this rider? Nice easy one to start with. Question two. Which number 
or what number is missing? So the French rider, what number is missing? Oh, when do we have that? Oh, if you look yeah. really cl uh, closely, you can see the year. Oh, I'm gone. I, well, I know, I know it's that. Oh, okay, so it has to be. Oh, shit. Is that one throwing a curveball in? Nah, nah. We got that one. Did you want to have a look at that again, Cal, before you had put the screen? No, that's all right. Okay, good, good. Question I'll three. Have a look, though. You want to have a look? Yeah. Yeah, use that zoom function, Sean. Yeah. All right, I'm, I'm good. Yeah. Happy with that? Okay, question three. Who is this? <laughs> oh, you look confident then, straight in. It's all, it was all the camo. Yeah, I, had to, I, I took. I wanted to make it easy for the people at home still, but I needed to take out little bits. Okay, a bit more of a difficult one. Question four, final round. Who is this? Oh. Big up Craig Dutton, by the way, for letting us have these pictures. Who is that? There's a close-up for everyone of uh, Quillen's forehead. Mm. Out of a clue. You want a bit of a clue? Check the bike. That's yes, what I'm looking at. <sighs> Bloomy, you seem confident. You are right with that, yeah? No, I've just put a name down. I've got no idea if it's right. <laughs> <laughs> that was hard. Yeah, that is hard. Thought I'd throw a curveball in. I'm gonna. Yeah. Okay. Is it quite an old picture that? It is. It's not bloomy, is it? It's got size on. <laughs> Uh, Bloomy didn't have that much style, mate. He's nosing it in that. Oh, here we go. Hey, I was going to say, is it Dino? And then I thought, nah, Dino <laughs> does never look quite that in control. No. Is it Chris? <laughs> Definitely not Chris, Matt. <laughs> I think but, I know who it is. It's on a supercross. Uh, Matt Will's still around. Sure. Hello. Is this the person who's come around to buy the gate? What's up, Penny? <laughs> You say hello to him. I, I can't hear anyone, so I don't know. Just say hello. Probably say a good hello. thing. And you say hello as well. Hang on, we got the hang on, we got the little one in as well. Oh. Hello. And this, hello. Right. Go in there. This Cheers will all. put Callan uh, Quillen off pretty quick, won't it? Yeah, let's <laughs> get rid of them. Can you not lock it from the outside? I've done it. <laughs> right, okay. That's the end of the uh, picture round then. Let's uh, four questions, four marks. We'll start with the, the branding. Quillen, who did you put down for this one? What was the branding? Troy Lee. Huh? Troy Lee. I'm looking for the branding in terms of the sponsorship. Oh, 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 oh. Seriously, he's not down an absolute stinker. What a shocker. <laughs> what is the shocker? Yeah, I put Red Bull. Troy Lee Red Bull, you see. Okay. <laughs> No chance did he put a, Red Bull There's your answer. Red Bull is the answer then, guys. Give yourself a mark if you got it. Quillen. Pay <laughs> oh, hey, attention, Quillen. Hold on. That's not a Red Bull crash helmet. That's not a um, Toy D crash helmet she's wearing. Is it not? 100%. To be fair, all I wanted was Red so, Bull. So he's wrong. So, so if you've wrong. got... Show me what you've written. Zero, show us what you've written again. Quillen, you can't be falling on the easiest to first question. No, nah, no, nah, all right, I'll allow that one, I got it wrong. <laughs> I misheard the question. Okay, question two was which number was missing on this picture? Bloomy, what did you go for? Oh, no, I went 39 initially, squirreled it out, and I've gone one instead. Oh. LP? Three. Three is your answer. 
Ah. Yeah. Oh. I mean, shit. I mean, damn. I couldn't work out the year properly, so I just I I gambled with the one. That's what happens, mate. Your eyesight goes when you get late thirties. Oh. Uh, you behave yourself. <laughs> you, you'll be in vets next year, won't you? Say again. You'll be at the vets in vets, won't you? Uh, connect, well, connect at the vets. At the vets, he needs putting down. <laughs> right, question. Uh, where was you at? Question three. Who was this? Cal, who did you put for this? It was Kyle. It is Kev, Kyle, Evans. Should be a nice, easy three. This is a good. This is a big question. This. Yeah, Quillen, you're getting abuse already off Trey. Yeah, I've seen it. Right, who's oh. jumping then? Who did you go for then, Liam? In the end. Okay, my rationale was left sided brake lever. Oh God. Okay. Sam. You're celebrating as if it's right, Cal. <laughs> well, that doesn't mean at least he's, he's not just happy. He's got the same answer. <laughs> I, would, I put Dino. It's Sam I am. Oh, yes. <laughs> Red line, mate. Uh, well, mate, just about the left handed brake lever. lever. Oh, I, I don't even look at that stuff. How do you know? You're not going to do well in the uh, video round, are you, Quillen? Um, we'll see. <laughs> Right, okay, so that is the end of uh, oh, yeah. the end of round one. Total up. I already got two then. So Quillen got, got himself two. I've got Chris Mapp calling me. What do you want? I just noticed he signed in to watch. He's... What do you want? Yo, are you, are you beating Liam? Nah, mate, I just got off to a rookie <laughs> start. <laughs> I know. He unclipped out the gate, didn't he, Blue me. He smashed the gate. He got wonky out the right. gate. He got on all sorts of donkey out the gate. But for <laughs> anyone who's wondering where Chris is this week, he's, he's told me he's busy being back work. And I found out he's on the golf course. See, the thing is, no, no one's bothered that he's not here either. No, no one even has mentioned where's Chris, which is bad, isn't it, not really? One. Not once. <laughs> Liam, how did you get in that round? Uh, four. Oh, well done. Which nice. A little bit worried about because usually I don't have a great start. Yeah. So. It's bad times. Blue me? It's not. Not great. Uh, two. Two. Count. At least I'm the same as Blue me. What did you get, Count? Three for me. Three. Oh, that's an early start for the champ. <laughs> Tell you what. Uh, we're interrupting Cal's games time, right? No, I don't, think, have you, I don't think you've seen the other productions, oh, Cal, how professional they are. Cal, do we need to come back for, in like an hour when you're done? No, not at all. Crack on. You sure? We've had look. It's all been professional so like far. At all. We've we've had the molders, smolders getting absolutely smashed. We've had Kev drinking twelve beers in the, in the round. Probably shouldn't say this with his coach here, but he's done a bit, didn't he? Right, and let's go. Me. We'll, we'll enjoy a drink, won't we? We do. I'm I'm hitting your we'll kind of stuff. Athletes, crack on. Do you know what I mean? Exactly. I've gone southern with you, true. Thatchers. That's Bloomy's neck of the woods, that. Oh, is it? Behave yourself. <laughs> Are you sure you're not closest to the fattest factory than me? Uh, yeah, probably am, to be fair. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> right then, here we go then. We're moving on. Round two, a bit of general knowledge for you. Some easier than others. Um, we'll start with question one. A nice, simple one. Worth one mark. How many world champs podiums a silver Andre made in elite men. How many world champ podiums has silver Andre made in elite men? Guess from our first week. Including time trial or can't be including that. Well. No. <laughs> like just in the race, yeah. In the race. Yeah. Okay. Have you been researching time trials? No, no. No, just making sure that you know, I don't have a little boo-boo. Oh, yeah. You mean like when Chris said how many supercrosses when he added in the Olympics in week one? That was so funny. He didn't have a clue. <laughs> he didn't have a clue and he still tried to dig himself out of it. Yeah, he did. Yeah. <laughs> you, gotta be, you just got to commit with those kind of things. 
Right, uh, question yeah. two. Another easy one. Whose career number is 901? Oh, just, just, what, just one second. Cal, uh, Cal, Sean. Yeah. Are we including um, Junior in that, in the first question? No, Elite. No, we just said Elite, we just said Elite. Okay. For those watching at home, they did see Elite in capitals as well. Obviously, you don't have that benefit. No. Happy with question two? Nine, nine, zero, one. Nine, zero, one. I don't think that's very easy, Sean. No, it's not, but I think I have an inkling. Maybe I. I think. Oh, I've only got an inkling. Who do you reckon it is, Quill? <laughs> well, I can't tell you, can I? I'll tell you after. Maybe I'm just a fan. No, I think I know that one. Question three. What was Twan Van Gent's winning lap time in oh, 2019? Zolder Worlds. I will give you the mark to whoever is the closest to the time. How long have you got? Well, I know the fast lap times are like 33, 32 on that day. You're giving them, you're giving your, your people you're against some yeah, cheers, big bro, insight there. I'm going to go 34 somewhere. That's not a bad shot, Liam. I was not going to go with that, though. Hmm. I suppose his uh, his lap in the main one, all that was that. Nah, and it's a wet lap. And you single looking me out straight with that smooth. Mm. What the people at home won't know <laughs> is before we came on there, these like lot were talking timings to the tenth, and then now this one's dropped in. They're just panicking. Think yeah. about his first straight though. They probably cancelled out his second straight. True. <laughs> True. Quest it was quite sketchy as well, wasn't it? What are you doing? You can't in your head, Quillen. You look like you're in the zone counting it there. <laughs> I love that we've got a fan on. Right, the what the fan is just taking this right, I'll just have me dinner. Well it's dinner time. <laughs> if you're well, saying, Quill, that the fast laps were like thirty two, thirty three. Ain't that was... in the main, is it? Mm. Right, question four. That second shirt was a big preview. This one's worth three marks. At the 2016 Olympics, Connor took the win, but he got fourth in the seeding run. Who were the three that beat him? Christ. I will give you a point for each person that beat him in the seeding run. And a, we'll that, sorry, time trials, isn't it? and a bonus for if you get the order correct. So who were the three people? One, sure. Who were the three people that beat Connor in the 2016 seeding run? Oh. And the order that they finished in for the extra point, hmm. four points on offer there. Um, no idea. Liam's going to know this, isn't he? He was still functioning then, weren't you? Yes, that me. <laughs> you got 10th and you was half a second behind the winner. Yeah, cheers, mate. Cheers. <laughs> no, but only half a second. <laughs> well, I was actually a semi-decent time trialer, but at the two time trials at the Olympics, absolutely dog shite. I mean, it didn't mean anything, did it? That's right, Sean. <laughs> I'm a confidence really? builder. I'm, I'm a confidence God, I builder. That night, I was like, it doesn't mean anything. <laughs> <laughs> oh, quality. Like I said, you delete those three Olympics off and put the three times quarantine quiz winner on it. I'm good to go. Lumi, you look confident. You're happy with that, yeah? Me? Mm. Not really. Yeah. Quillen's, Quillen's doing his pens down. Liam, are you happy with that? I've got yeah. two. I don't know about the third one. Yeah. Bonus point for you. You've got two right ones, Cal. I, I know that I'm definitely right with two of them, but I can't remember who the other one was. I don't think I'm right with any. <laughs> 
<laughs> I don't remember watching any time trial run. No, I can't. I can't really picture it. So I've just kind of gambled on three names. I only remember the crashes from time trials. And the best one was uh, the Latvian youth, weren't it? In 2012. Trey Manis. Yeah. What about 2016? He he made his face bleed in two consecutive Olympic time trials. See, that's the questions I should have been asking. (laughs) Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's so weird. What are the chances of that? He falls off in London's time trial, busts his nose. He falls off in Rio's time trial, busts his nose. But he didn't do that in the four years in between them anywhere. Pressure. Just weird. Pressure. Right, question five, moving on then. This one is worth seven marks. At the 2012 Olympics, how many riders qualified in total from countries Holland, Belgium and Germany? So Holland, Belgium, Germany, how many riders in total did they take as a whole? And a correct point for the each rider you can name. Holland, Belgium, Germany. Yep. 2012. 2012, Holland. Belgium and Germany. So I want Men the num- women. number in title plus the names. Men and women. Just men. Sorry, I should make that clear. Just men. Thank God for that. Belgium. <laughs> Big sex at that, Cal. Well, it's just personal preference for the question. Um, <laughs> Hol- is the second country Belgium? Holland, Belgium and Germany. Wow. Who's in Belgium in 2012? Oh, I know, actually. Or do I? Yeah, I do. You keep talking to yourself, Quillen. <laughs> oh, oh, God. Belgium, that's a good one. That is a good one. Trick question. He's thrown, yeah, he's thrown that one in. Oh, God. I remember um, for Beijing, Arnold Dubois qualified, and um, oh, and the it? yeah, and the Belgium Olympic, Olympic Committee like basically refused. His, they said that he wasn't competitive enough and didn't uh, allow him to compete. Who went? Yeah. Who went in way? Nobody from Belgium. No one. They gave their place back. They qualified yeah. a country place, didn't give it to him. Yeah, they there was people from. Yeah, the Chinese rider was waddling around. Yeah, but they had a home <laughs> place. Could have given their place away. I can't, I can't think of Belgium. <laughs> you'll be there a while. Yeah, you'll be there, you'll be there for a while thinking of that one, Cool. Oh, okay. You gave that away. Well, no, in the sense that you won't get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You gave that away. Thanks. <laughs> right. Let's go for it then. Questions uh, done. Let's go for the answers. Quillen, how many world champs, podiums, and silver and Andre made an elite? Three? Is that a guess? You. you no, three. 17, 18, 19. Second, first, third. Yes, three. 17, 18, and 19, second, first, and third. Well done. One mark that one is, though. Question two was, whose number is 901? Cal? I put Jarvis Thompson. Oh. wrong. Liam, Ooh. you're shaking your head. Who have you gone for? Bias. Michael Bias. Yes. Yeah. Michael Bias. Yeah. Oh. I'd love to hear what you put, Bloomy. Come on, Bloomy, mate. You see him going around the track went, light and energise a bunny in practice. True. <laughs> Four fives in laps in practice. Uh, I put. I put. I went for Manon Valentino. Oh, seven one. Who's Har- What's Harmson's then? Uh, seven one. Yeah. Harmson. Isn't it nine five six or something like that? Here's a nine. Like Mitchell Scottman. Yeah. This. Yeah. Um. Question three then. Twan van Gent's winning lap time. Uh, Cal, you're big on numbers. Well, 
Me? No. You love your know race. Elite lap time. I don't race elite and I'm not a coach. Yeah, what was your lap time? I no. don't, didn't have a transponder on. Ah. You, you've definitely it timed it against fast. everyone else, let's be honest. <laughs> um, hey, it's fast enough to win. Yeah. I did time it. I did time it with my um, coach's eye against Masters in seventeen twenty four. Of course you did. How did, did you? How win? did you fare? Yeah, did I you won. Win? Yeah. You won. Now you was due to do Masters this year, weren't you? Yeah, I just think it's horrible how the first time I race Masters next year, I won't be the youngest year in it. It's going to just feel disgusting. That's a good point. <laughs> <laughs> The, the hardship, yeah. the hardship. But what time did you go for anyway? What time did you put down? I just went. I just. I just went for thirty-three point nine five zero. Okay. Quillen. Thirty-four eight five six. Oh, you went higher. Liam's laughing. Go on, Liam. I'm laughing because I think hey, World Championship main. Quillen was saying that the fastest laps were thirty-two, thirty-three seconds. So I, I went faster than that. I went thirty-one eight. Damn. 31 8 is it was 31 8 is close. Oh, uh, sugar. Blue mate? 31 5. Oh. It was 31.34. Oh, Loomy gets like the Louis. point. <laughs> oh. I thought that that was really. I know you got a good first straight, but I thought the rest of that was like quite bad. But I can't it was remember. Only really, it was only really the second straight that he shanked. Yeah. It wasn't even the second straight. It was just that oh, double, wasn't it? Was it was only that like one jump. Yeah. I'm thinking of Elise. She messed up on the last shirt a bit, didn't she? Yeah, she nearly. Well, Elise, same. <laughs> 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 I've not watched the finals, to be honest, that many times. How can you not? It's one of the greatest one ones, aren't so it? Twan had that much of a lead at the, at the uh, going into the last turn. He just railed it, didn't he? Didn't have to worry about any race line. Nah. It was ideal. Well, I was well off, wasn't I? Right, Bloomy gets that point. Right, okay. Uh, 2016 Olympics, Connor took the win, but fourth in the seeding run. Who were the other three that beat him? Callum, you had two out of these, didn't you? Who was the two that you got? I know that Dorde won. Yep. Um, oh, I think I think Graf got second. Yes, he did. And I think third was Sam. Boom. Oh, house. First was Where? Yoris, second was Graf, third was Willoughby. So you get a point for each, and if you've got the correct order, you also get a bonus point. So, Cal, you got four points there. I've got Sam and Graf mixed up. Liam's happy. Liam's got another four in the bank. Yeah, Quillen's messing up more. Bloomy's just smiling to himself, which means a lot of things. <laughs> Did you even write and pick down on that one? I got Sam and Yoris. Okay. Two marks, two marks. Okay, question five was um, the one that threw you off a little bit. 2012 Olympics, how many riders, men, in total from countries of Holland, Belgium, and Germany? How many did you go for in the end, Quillen? Because these were getting in your head, I feel. <laughs> well, I went for three from the Dutch and then two from Germany, but I can't think of anyone from Belgium. You went five in total? But you, you said seven, so... I feel like I'm missing one. Who said seven? Did I say seven? You said seven points. Oh, okay. Oh, tight. What? <laughs> Give that one away. <laughs> so it was actually six riders in total. Yeah, I've missed one, but I've, wow. What? And you get a mark for each one. Who were your three Dutch ones then, uh, Quillen? Twan, Raymond, and Yellow. Twan. Raymond van der Beesen, Yellow van Gorkum, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Liam, who were your two Germans? Uh, Mike Bayer and uh, Brett Auer. Yeah. Which leaves one. I can't think of this. Arnold I don't think was a Belgian person in there. Arnold de Bois. What? What? Well, he went in 2012. He went in 2012. It threw me off oh. as well when I was checking it. I did really? not know that. Yeah, he got twenty seventh sure in the seeding run, ahead of Mona Mukai, Safiso, Mike Bayer, and uh, Kalang, and obviously Tremonis who crashed. 
Right. That threw me off big time. Right. He must have been off the back in those motos. So much so. so what, was seven, why was there seven points available for that then? Because you can get one if you can send six riders, and then you got one okay. for each of the six riders. Right. Anyone get six or no? Ah, obviously no one. Oh, That's five. Right. Just missed it. Yeah. So, so I can so tell you, you actually, Cal, he finished sixth overall in his in his heat. Did he? Ahead of Brian Kirkham and ahead of Safiso Nalapo. So, Sean, do you get a point for like? Uh, like Van Gen, Van. Yes, uh, you get a point for that. Yeah. If you didn't yeah. write, if you didn't write number six down, you don't get a point, and if you didn't write Honor Dubois, you don't get a point. So there's potential there that you you lot got five, I think. Yeah. 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 Right. That is round two done and dusted. Let's hear your scores. Nine. Eleven. Sorry. One, two, Ronnie, how many did you get? 11. 11. And he dropped three monks. He's, he's looking good again, isn't he? That last question. Lumi? He's looking good. Nine. Nine. Cal? Ten. Uh, Quillen? Ten. Ten. That's not bad round for you, Quillen. I think Mappy, yeah, like, if he's on the golf course, he's a bit... Like, he's messaging me, you showing the boys the way. Yeah, he's, he's not even interested. He's not even logged in. <laughs> uh, I think he's... Bit hammered, isn't he? Just gonna get a little top up one second. Though. Yeah. Oh. Well, after round two, oh, halfway right. point. Liam, Liam is on fifteen points. Quillen is on twelve. Uh, Bloomy, you're on eleven, and Cal yeah, on thirteen. So our fan is in second place. Yes. Not good enough. It's not good enough. It's not happy. Hey, Quill. 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 Whoever. Will... Whoever loses that, me and you, five run a go kart pot. Yeah, sure. Is it going to be filmed and we uh, we exclusively put it on the next heart? Well, <laughs> if you if you front half the money, yeah. I was going to say what the go kart in the hand and over the of a fiver. <laughs> well, <laughs> the go kart in pot is purely got Quillen's money in anyway, because he keeps losing keeps losing bets. He just keeps topping it up. <laughs> go kart pot's got a PayPal account. <laughs> Right, round three then, let's go for it. This is the people's favourite at home, it's the video round. Obviously you guys have already had the video sent to you so you can see it nice and clearly, but for the benefit of those at home, round one, question one, here is the video. Junior women, Zolder, we're doing a bit of a Zolder theme this week. Uh, so here we are, Junior women, Zolder. Right, is ready, watch the big... So, as they head down, the junior semi-final, what happens next? Do two riders straight leg the first one and go over the bars? Do three riders get loose and crash on the second jump? Is it C, a track marshal walks across the track? Or is it D, nothing, they're junior men, what are we worried about? Junior women, sorry, what are we worried about? That's difficult. So, for the benefit of those at home again, here is that video. Alright, is ready, watch the big... Is that how you're judging it? So, I want A, B, C or D. That's difficult. Can I, can I ask you a question, Sean? Yeah, of course you can. When you say uh, three riders get loose and crash on the second jump... Yeah. As in, nothing happens yeah. on the first jump, they get over it fine and then they crash on the second. On the step up, step down. Yes. Right. Not the speed jump. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. Okay. All right, getting technical. I like it. Uh, mate, I, if you notice, one of the jerseys in that picture, in that video. From... I noticed that. Who who was that? Uh, Liska. Is that in gate two? That's when I first started. Yeah. Can you remember it then? I'm not sure. I, I know that what means, happened That means she her. probably crashed then. Probably. Mm. Wouldn't be the first time, mate. Sean, do us a favour, play it again, please. Of course. Alright, is ready, watch the big... No, I don't think it's that. Which one don't you think it is? D? <laughs> <laughs> I'm 
Oh, God. There's only one that I'm pretty sure it's not, to be fair. So, it's <laughs> Do I dare ask which one? Well, I don't think it's it's C. I don't think it's the Marshall thing. Because that happened somewhere else. Is, and I think... It is UEC, mate. Mm. It has happened numerous times in the UEC. And I can recall ah. three. For God's sake. Hmm. I'm stuck on this one. You've got 25%. Take a, Take a guess. Because we're moving yeah, on to okay. question two. Question Sorry. two for the people at home whilst these are still figuring it out is an observation round. So make sure you're paying attention to everything. So here is question two. Out of the gate they go. Looks like Graf in lane one, but no, Tuan Van Gent coming out of lane two. Graf's going to force the issue in lane one and going to make the dive. Van Gent going to take up space. So it's going to be Graf, Van Gent, one and two with Dade and Pillard in three and four. Dade going from three to one. Yeah, the move's being made. Graf's managed to lose a little bit of ground. The Van Gent's coming up behind him now and he's working his way in. So Yoris Dade leading it out. Van Gent's in there in two. David Graf looking like he's going to hang on for that three despite losing momentum in that third straight. Okay, so from one of the, what I reckon is probably one of the greatest races out there. But the question is, what positions did Tuan Van Gent come out of each corner? So turn one, what was his position? Turn two and turn three, what was his position? Just three marks. No, one mark. Oh, As a coach, you need to geez. be observant. Jesus. So, mate, it only matters if you know what you're looking for. Well, now you do. Twan Van Gent. Yeah, but you don't have the luxury of watching the video. <laughs> 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 uh, That's difficult, isn't it? Yeah. Out of each corner. Out of each corner. Well done. Thank, welcome to point. the game, uh, Quillen. Three points for that. No, one point. No, that should be three points. Did anyone see the Colombian getting loose? By the way, who? Did anyone watch the Colombian getting absolutely loose on the first jump? Was that Carlos? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Carlos. Riding the ball, some might say, which will lead us into the next question. <laughs> Right, okay. Question three. We're going to go back to 2017, where we was in America, and me and Cal went on a night out, and he jumped on a ball, mechanical ball. Here's the start of this video. I've never seen him so happy in his life. But the question is, how long does he ride the ball for? Closest will get back. Oh my god! The point. Surely, surely, Cal must know the answer to this. Cal, come on! Yeah, I don't think he would. I've, I've never seen that video in my life. I was absolutely off my head. <laughs> I did that one. I was good for you. I mean, was it was it a quick exit or what? Cal doesn't ride for long, let's put it that way. Well, the one clue is he was chucking all the guys off really quickly and he was letting the girls on stay, for, stay on for ages. I remember Scott's missus, Joe, everyone was loving it and he made it go really slow so he could watch her for about seven minutes. <laughs> <laughs> oh... I'll even give double points if you get the right amount of seconds. I mean, no one's going to get that, are, we, are they? How, how, you know, you said that the guy was chucking the guys off pretty, you know, pretty quickly. How, how fast are we talking here? Let's, like, let's, let's put it this way. I wouldn't make everyone watch Cal ride a ball for seven minutes live on Facebook. It was, <laughs> I remember, I remember, I just remember thinking, 
I, I sort of remember thinking, oh, this is quite easy. And then suddenly it became very hard. And it was, I was. You had about the bullet. <laughs> yeah. Are we talking double double figures or? Yeah, the yeah. double figures in seconds. It's less than a minute. Probably. Yeah, less than a minute. Oh, that's it's close to a minute. Well, then I'm not going to make everyone sit and watch him riding the ball for a minute, am I? <laughs> well, no. We don't want to get the question, won't we? We get the answer. Well, I've I've already done shit away anyway. Let's move on. <laughs> yeah, Cullen's got shit to do, look. Yeah. Sorry, yeah, mate. Right, okay. Next one. We're going again back to Zomoda. I want you to watch the guy in second place, the Norwegian guy. I'm not even going to pronounce, attempt to pronounce his name. First rodeo. See what I did there? I'm linking it back to the last question as well. He's okay. still riding the ball. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Question four then is what happens to Hombush? Is that, is that how you pronounce it? Does he. I think a, this, is, this is a bit of a viral video, isn't that? Is it? You should be sure. right then. You should be sound. Does he A. Two in, one out, and the triple at the end? Does he B. Jump the man, uh, jump to manual on the step up. Does he see manual the whole straight from that point, or does he D catch the jump and front flips? A, B, C, or D? I just sort of remember everyone talking about it, but does everyone else feel like that? Is that is that an easy one for everyone? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, right, we'll move on then. <laughs> Uh, that, that failed. Right, question five. Here we go. Bondarenko. Papandau. <laughs> go on, right. Oh, brilliant. Papandau um, podium. All smiles. <laughs> So from that. that point, what does Bondarenko do? Does she? Yeah. Smell some bit fishy and waft her nose. <laughs> does she be? Give flowers to someone because she just literally doesn't want them. C asks where's the champagne or D kisses the camera. You're fan of that one, yeah? LP, you got this one. Eh? Oh, that is classic. Absolute classic. Quillen, you look oh, you confused. Got... Do you know that? Yeah. No, I, I I don't know, but just judging by their reaction, I'm guessing that that's um, that's how I'm deciding my answer. Okay, okay. I think I've heard I think I heard someone speak about it. Yeah, before, she just kisses the think... camera, mate. Gives the camera yeah. Yeah. Complete, the, way, yeah. the way she kissed it. Completely yeah, out of character she for the and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nice man. <laughs> You know, like how you used to practice when you were a kid, Colin? Hey, hey, don't, don't, even, don't even say that. Don't even say that. You know, when you used to kiss the back of your hey, hand. Hey, hey, Liam, come out. Man. I feel like there's a story there. Come on, Liam. Tell oh, the people at home. Colin, you've got red, mate. What's up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're not speaking like that. Not alive. <laughs> <laughs> not alive. Oh, my God. Go on. <laughs> All right, to save him from embarrassment. Yeah, no, no. We're saving from embarrassment. Okay. What happens to the junior women in the semi final? I feel like I've got to go to you, Liam, because it's one of your riders. Ah. I guess B, because I remember her crashing in the first turn, but it is a, it is a pun. Okay. Quillen, what did you have? I went B as well. Yeah, blew me. I went A, but I think it's too obvious. <laughs> Why is that obvious? <laughs> well, no, I think I think the obvious answer would be A, but I don't think it is. I think it might be B, which I put originally right across it. I like the fact that we're saying that the obvious answers are either A or B when there's D there that nothing happens and they both, they all get away with it. <laughs> <laughs> well, you wouldn't put it up. Uh, yeah, I don't see you putting that up. Okay. Well, I think how you're right. As well. 
Here's actually what happened. All right, it's ready. Watch the big hill, ladies and gentlemen. These are the young ladies, junior women on track. Oh, there's a big crash. Wow, once button go Okay, so your answer was in fact well done. B. Three riders get loose and crash in the second jump. Good, good, good. Okay. Question I'm two. I'm pulling back. I'm confident on this one. Okay. There's only five uh, marks on this one now. Five? In total. What? I can't, I can't believe that this doesn't give free free. Yeah, free, this should give free, this should give free because this is going to allow me to pull back. No, this is only one mark. So I'm on about in, in round two, in t uh, round three in total, Liam, is five marks. Uh, okay. Yeah. Um, what How positions did Twan Van Gent come out of each corner? Quillen, give me your, your free. Um, second out of the first corner. Is that right? Yeah. Third out of the second corner. I'm not telling you if it's right yet, but I'm going to show you the video. Second out of the last corner. Okay. That's, right. That's what I got. Two, three, two. Oh. Two, three, two all round. Bloom, is that what you put? So. Here we go then. Here yeah. is your answer. Out of the gate they go. Looks like Graf in lane one, but no, Twan Van Gent coming out of lane two. Graf's going to force the issue in lane one and going to make the dive. Van Gent going to take up space. It's going to be Graf, Van Gent, one and two with Dade and Pillard in three and four. Dade going from three to one. Yeah, the move's being made. Graf's managed to lose a little bit of ground. The Van Gent's coming up behind him now and he's working his way in. So Yoris Dade leading it out. Van Gent's in there into David Graf looking like he's going to hang on for that three despite losing momentum in that third three. There you go, two, three, two. Did everyone get that right? Points all round, yeah. yeah. Mm. Okay, so then we moved on to question three, was to the nearest. How long does Cal ride the ball for? Cal, I'm going to start with you. Do you actually remember? Of course not. I haven't got a, I haven't got a clue. <laughs> what have you put down? What's your guess? I put 22 seconds. Longest, longest you've ridden for, isn't it? <laughs> oh wow! I'm on about. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Get, get your mind out the gutter, Bloomy. Bloomy, what have you put there? I've gone eleven seconds. <laughs> okay. Uh... <laughs> Liam. Wait, why is that funny? Oh, I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> I just guess the same as same as uh, Swan's lap time, thirty one point eight. I put I put thirteen seconds. Okay, I guess Come we better on, find out because I've not actually really timed not. it either. I'm about to time it for the first time ever. Right here we go. <laughs> And then he gets the point. 38 Thirty seconds. What a rubbish question. Yeah. It's mad that Twan can win a world champs quicker than he can. <laughs> <laughs> right, question four then. The one that went viral apparently. Did I, did I get that right? Yeah, you got that one. Yeah. I can't believe he's got beat me on a shit question that was about me. <laughs> Back to Twan all day long. <laughs> Look, there's some things you can train for and there's some things that it just, it's an eight. And that's why he's three times champ. Oh, sir. Question four then, what happened to the guy in second? Uh, I feel like we all knew this one. Quillen, 
was the only one who didn't really know. So let's go to Quillen. What? Yeah, you catch. He does the front flip. Ah, okay. Sorry, I thought you said you didn't know it. <laughs> it was the next one he didn't know. No, ah, uh, okay. Oh yeah, it was good shot. Right, okay. Here's the answer then. Let's have a look. Whoa. Oh, that's rough, isn't it? Oh, yeah, it's bad, that one. So, yeah, your answer was D. Catches the, catches the jump and does a front flip. Um, savage, as you southerners would say. Question five, then. What happens to this? Uh, what does Ponderang go to? Philip, what did you go for? I went with A. Smokes with it and whaps it. I'm guessing we all went with the same, yeah? Yeah. 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 This is brilliant. Right, here it is for the people at home. All smiles. The BMX Supercross World Cup. <laughs> does, does anyone know what what it was that she smelled? Fish, you said. Well, I just said something fishy. I didn't say it was fish. <laughs> what do we reckon it was? I think just a rope waffle. Yeah, I just think after a day at the track, you know, fishy. Yeah, yeah. in front of in front Maybe of thousands of people watching, that's what she went for. But yeah, your answer was a. It's also a bit fishy, right? That is uh, video round round three done and dusted. Turn them up. Let's see what you've uh, let's see what you've come out with. Four, three. Three for three. Uh, three for Bloomy, three for Cal. Quillen. Full house. Full house for Leo. Quillen, what did you get? Four. Four, nice one. Full house is oh, Liam's pulling away again, even more. Third straight pull. I hope, I hope there's a big question on the on a on a shit question round. as well with them. Hey. Hey, you've got to know, you've got to know how to ride the ball. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm, that's what I've prided my whole career off, mate. <laughs> Just get it done. Like Dino now, just get it done. Doesn't matter how pretty it looks. That's the motto. Ride Without the ball. Right, really. mm. right, okay. Yeah, I'm donkey legs out. <laughs> Quillen, you've got to be careful what you say to him because he's, it sounds like he knows a bit about your past. <laughs> I think everybody does. I oh, think do now. <laughs> right, okay, question five. We're going to World Cups uh, and World Champs. I hope there's a question about me in there. 2012? No. At one time I won a race. Uh, in yeah. Six, can, you, yeah, can you throw it back to my World Cup career? I might get that one. Yeah. Who did Cal race <laughs> against in the uh, test event? Um, right, okay. <laughs> Question one then. This is worth three, no, six marks. I'm going to give you six for this. Name the three males with the with the most World Cup wins in any order. I'm not bothered about the order. So the three males who have won the most World Cup wins and the bonus points for if you guess the correct number of wins for that rider. For each rider? For each male rider. I want the three top winning riders and how many they won are you talking about this yeah. sort of latter generation when um yeah gone into an unfair sort of stage if, of if you're life. asking if you feature or not <laughs> i certainly don't the answer is no 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 <laughs> i'm just i'm just actually repeating a lot of what i've heard others say which is you know really can't compare the two yeah you can't not, um, you know. not not from the days when there was only five in a ra- five in a season and that's that's exactly right. Talent was deep. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> no, I just should, should we just get that on record, Liam? I remember going into um, Rock Hill and I was on five wins and Sam and Stromy were both on six wins and I was thinking, oh, like if I win here, then I'll then I pull alongside like the goats and uh, yeah, I didn't win 
and strongly did. So he went to seven and I stayed on five and I was absolutely fuming because I had a great start and I think that uh, yeah, I might have, might have been all right. But anyway. Oh, God. Oh, I can't figure the third one. There has to be that guy, doesn't it? Who's got the telly on in the background? That's your phone, man. Sean said he's got the telly on in the background. Yeah, somebody watching on Facebook because I can I can hear an echo. Yeah, it's. Uh... Is she not sitting next to you? She can just watch it next to you if she wants. <laughs> Yeah, but I've got she my can, headphones she in. Can li- my can literally watch it live. <laughs> <laughs> she can't hear you lot. So six points. Six points. Six. So on the three males, right. but also how many they've won. <sighs> you want to kick myself after this question? Well. This one's big. I think I know this one because I watched one of Neek's quiz and he, Neek and, oh, well, everyone knew that anyway. That was a given. If you didn't say Neek, I don't know what you're doing. But, uh, Stop talking. Was, <laughs> Stop talking, Quinlan. Jesus. They, they said it. <laughs> Why don't you just tell everyone how many you won as well? About 20. Like, Quill, who got third? <laughs> how many um, them? Well, I think you, uh, you gave that one away as well. Maybe. <laughs> I could yeah. be bluffing. I don't think you are, because that was a true story. <laughs> <laughs> Good at lying. Right, okay, moving on. Question two. Happy? Mm. Similar question. Name the three female riders with the most World Cup wins. Oh. And bonuses. For the number. This is the funny one. It's quite funny to see. Why have we got girls questions? This is is why it went in. It's quite funny to see you lot wince as soon as we mention girls compared to the males. Liam's got this. He coaches loads of them. Are they winning ones, though? And you have to know the stats. How many has she won? It is a lot. Mm. I've actually wrote down a big number but it's for this uh, girl but I still think it's too low how big's big how big's big how big do you go cool it's big <laughs> that clears it up. It's big. Pretty stupid, really. I can't think. Oh. Is it more than the men? Yeah. Easily. Yeah. By a mile. All right, I'm going to need to do some working out in my head. As he tells everyone that. He ain't working out. Let's be honest. He ain't going to go back over every World Cup. Oh, yeah, she won there. She won that. Oh, no, she didn't win that. I'm just going to go. I'm just going to go. It's a rough estimate. Who could be third? Surely you've done all this background work for your app, Quillen. Yeah, but I can't remember. There's like a couple thousand questions there. I'm not going to remember all of them. These big ones that you need in there. Should have a bit more of an idea than us, then. <laughs> yeah, mate, you haven't got that much other stuff to remember. Let's be honest. That's like that's the same as me. It's like, what do I need to know other than BMX? That's it. It's <laughs> a good point. It's a good point. That's that's where we're struggling, Carl, in the real world. <laughs> <laughs> Jess's mum said to me tonight when I uh, said, "Oh yeah, I'm doing oh. this quiz again." But how do you usually fare? Because when I've been doing the quizzes, like general knowledge with 
the boys and that been absolutely useless like dead last <laughs> I was like oh this is actually one that I'm okay at I know a bit about BMX this is why we managed to get you back every time we can't wait <laughs> right moving on to question three before Quillen has a panic attack because he's trying to remember from circa 2000 onwards question three so, as the World Champs should have been held this weekend in Houston, Texas, can you name the year and the location for each of the late Texan Carl Bennett's World Championship wins? Yes. <laughs> I want a point for the year and a point for the location. You're not just allowed to say the country either. You want you okay? You stepping up? Are you saying you want no, no, don't, no. city, country, yeah, and you? Yeah, I like you that. can't just say the country. Yeah, no, it is just the country. Nah, come on, right, it's got to be location oh. too. Sean doesn't even know the location in the country. That's why I do because I've just written them in previously. Well, come, <laughs> come on then. I, I think it's got to be location. That you know, country is pretty poor. I, I don't know that though. Damn. I'm confused on the years as well. So, Quillen, you were born in 96. So, you would have been young. Sean, can, yeah, we, well, can, we, can we just actually, like, are we, we going to say location or country? Come on. Got to be I will accept now. either, but if you want to show off to the fans at home, you can go oh, for no, year, location, and the country. Come on, Cal. This, this is your time, mate, to jump clear. You know what I mean? I'll be putting my foot down if I was you. Well, I can't say it with you because you want, get... you want the actual location just as much as I do, so it's really yeah, yeah. just... I'll, go, I'll, go look, I'll jump in. I'll go location. I feel this is a two-horse race at the minute with Bloomy just... like It's like Bristol 2005 all over again where he messed up the gate. <laughs> and then he starts to read it in. Huh? Why do we have to mention that? Because it's all you've been going on about since AD Warden's put the videos up. You can talk me, about why, it. Could, why could you not get past Liam Beatty, uh, Marcus? <laughs> <laughs> Hilly, mate, Hilly was there. But it's worth noting hey, the I, people at home I, that I, Hilly I, pulled I, Chris Mack on the yeah. semi. I don't know about these videos that AD put on, but I remember um, Eschishan... 2006 I think it was um, the Europeans I was like 15, 16 and AD said to me I've got I've got um, some video for you if you want of the race so I was like oh fucking hell sweet so he gave me the fucking VHS you know and um, put it on hey, it had him on the track at like 4 in the morning oh I remember it this time. 4 in the morning his light on his head like set up just doing lap after lap after lap of the track so he was getting like, you know, like you traditionally go to the Euros and you might get like, you know, three laps maximum. Hey, he was getting 350 before practice or before racing had even started. Uh, there was one, one there a rumour he did it at a world. Didn't he do it at Vulcan Squad for a world as well? He, he, I'm sure he did. He it jumped the fence numerous times. We took him on a Euro trip and he jumped the fence. Quality. And he, and he turned up to that Euro trip without any Euros. And he come to me on the first day and went, Hey, Sean, you got any Euros? <laughs> True story. I don't know what he was planning to do for the week, but he's a legend for it. Right, OK, moving on then. Question four. It's been 10 years since the 2010 Worlds in Peter Maritzburg, South Africa. Name. In, in where, sorry? Peter Maritzburg. <laughs> Peter what? Maritzburg. Peter Maritzburg? Peter. Peter Maritzburg. All right, Peter sorry. Maritzburg. Bring Chris Brad. <laughs> Don't tempt me because I've got the picture of you asleep on our trip, ready to go. Oh, so have I. How bad is that? Yeah. But anyway, back to the question. You flexed it there, Carl. Stretching. Stretching, flexing the same thing in it for him. One of them ones, that's useless. Look at I've that. I've been focusing on getting a big bench press, but I'm still behind you, I think. What are you at now? Well, I did a pre-programmed test and it was 120. So I'd like to get 130. Oh, you're well off, mate. You're well off. Oh. <laughs> well off. You're well off the professional athlete. Mm. Big free plates, yeah. 
Well, it'll, it's coming. It's coming. Don't you worry. Just... All right. Yeah. I'll do that. Hey, that's I'm the to 45 at the minute. 120. That's, that's like... <laughs> I'd love that. I did, I did 50 kilograms yesterday. Just saying. How many shots? 50, 50 kilograms. <laughs> Three at places. Benching, at the minute, I'm benching 40. 45. That's all I can manage. <laughs> I found a level fully. I like it. <laughs> anyway, back to the quiz. There's, yeah, a, yeah, there's a quiz on. Question four. 2010, South Africa. See yeah, what I did there, Bloomy. Um, name all the championship classes. Winners. Elite men, elite women, junior women, and junior men. Four winners. I was hoping that would be a harder question with more marks. Sorry to disappoint you, Cal. Very, very, very disappointed. Is that an easy one for well, you? I don't, know, I don't know junior women. This one threw me off, to be fair. Come on, boys. What about all the podiums? Can we do all the podiums? Hold your horses. I've got a nice big one next. And oh, the question. Wow. Can we junior women? women? Junior women. Wow. Is... You, you know this, Liam. Yeah. 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 That's just a good era. That's the sort of era that's like lots of loaded. Just gonna go and get my phone. This is a uh, modern day coaching. <laughs> he's, he's on. He's on BMX results, isn't he? Yeah, one hundred. <sighs> now, Bloomy knows about this. This is our, this is actually how you need to communicate with your riders these days. Just they're sending you videos on WhatsApp. WhatsApp. WhatsApp and Teams. That's it. Do, do the boys send you their squats with the bins, Bloomy? Yeah. Fair play to one. Yeah, I'm all for it. Yeah. Has anyone gone through one yet? A bin? Yeah. Nah. Nah, because they all, um, they all have boxes and, boxes and bits of wood and all sorts to protect the bin. It was, uh, I mean, yeah. <clears throat> It's quite ingenious of them to get cracking like that, to be honest. I've saw, is it uh, Trey's new place on that balcony? Yeah. Mate, that scares yeah. me. If someone loses their balance, oh, that's going guy. over the balcony. Yeah, it's a big it's a big balcony, though. Sean's been throwing barbells like six feet in front of him off balcony. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Cavos 2010, that was. No, I can't for the life of me think of a junior female for this one. Right, we're moving on to the biggie. Moving on, yeah. Here's the biggie. Question five, the final question of the final quiz. 20 points. <clears throat> 16 points on offer. In 2000, and next year, basically, we return to Holland for the World Champs for the first time since 2004 in Volkensbad. Name as many riders as you can in the elite men main and double points if you get them in the correct position. Mm. 2004? 2004, yes. You was eight years old. So, <laughs> Say that again. Say that again, sorry. 2004 Volkensvard elite men yeah. final. Name yeah. the eight riders. Point for each. And you get a point for every position you get correct. Okay. Hmm. I only know three. <laughs> 16 points on offer. <laughs> well, I'm pretty sure they're in the right position. I think they're in. Oh my God. This, this was a good final. He's not given yeah. like, any questions for me. Not even one. I, I did think that. You know, when I went over your birthdays just before I started this, I thought, he's going to struggle. Wow. I'm just going to have to throw some randomness now. <laughs> he's going to be it. Ah! <sighs> <sighs> Who's feeling confident on that? Bloomy's not lifted his head. He's been right in the whole time. So this is 
this is quite hard. I think I've got six and maybe seven. Yeah, I've got four so far. Did you know this, Sean, before you came up with the question? I, I think Bloomy's pretty confident on this one. By I way. knew six of the riders. I remember the, I remember the race because I was there. It was absolute carnage. But I definitely got four positions. Good race. All right, 2004. This is one of the first time. Oh, Holland, 2003. Help you out, Quillen. It was the yeah. first time that I saw the guy that won in person and was like, holy shit, that kid can fly. It, was, it, was, it wasn't really expected, was it? Nah. I know, I know who won. And I know someone who else was definitely on the podium. I'm, I'm a bit sceptical about the third person I put on the you podium. You should be able to get the one who got last as well. Because that is quite an iconic crash. Oh, yeah, it is. Yeah. Oh, for God. Look what you're doing. <laughs> well, I don't know. I'm trying to help the kid out who was, who was four years old. When did you... Uh, uh, eight years old. When did you start racing, Quillen? No, you just helped Liam out. 2006. He hadn't even started racing yet. We're asking him a question two years before he was even racing. Liam was about 12 years into the game by that point. <laughs> Liam, was that the year you crashed with on the second straight? Yeah, with Joey. Yeah, that, that was yeah. bad. Yeah. Didn't you fit after that? Yeah, I hit my head. I crashed... And this is like, I guess, the evolution of the sport too, because I crashed in cruiser and was concussed, and then I raced like the next day. Yeah. And like hit my head again, like pretty Ooh. bad. I remember like, watching I never that. Never raced, do you know what I mean? But at that time, you, yeah, <laughs> like nobody really knew much about like concussion or so. Yeah. Bloomy had an interesting story from that one as well, didn't you, mate? You had a, you won the yeah. pre worlds, didn't you? You flipped the game uh, for me, didn't you, Blue No, 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 no. Uh, no, I crashed in last turn. Crashed yeah. in last turn. But in the semi, didn't you Didn't you flip the gate and then get back on and come from like last to, to qualify or something like that? No, I didn't, I didn't make the main. I won the pre-worlds and then one all day. The f- first moto was seven o'clock in the morning. Yeah. And uh, Tell them the story about Lawrence. <laughs> So Are we we talked Vol- about Vulcan's Wild Worlds, yeah? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Vol- Vulcan's Wild Worlds. It was um you're thinking about Etchichens. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Semi got back to fifth. Yeah. No, Vulcan Squad, the first we were in seventeen twenty nine at the time, and I think we had we had a hundred and twenty eights. So we had motos, hundred and twenty eight, sixty four, thirty seconds, sixteens all the way through. Wow. First motor first motor seven o'clock in the morning. Gate eight, no warm up. Lawrence was moto after me. Rolled into gate eight, clipped in, balanced, voice cadence started. And all I hear is Lawrence behind me going, Hey, old Bloomy, you're awake or what? As the gate was going. And Vulcan Squad was a horrible gate to gate on anyway. Yeah. Oh, man. And the kiddie in gate seven was an American guy. First time I've ever seen him. Slingshot to hell. And he put about four bikes into me by the 10 metre line. <laughs> Mental. Yeah, am, bike, am I, am I, um, am I a bit mad um, saying that there's four Americans in the final? Uh, there, was, there was a few. I just, oh, I've, got, I've got six, but I can't think any more. Right. I didn't even know the Dutch riders back then. Time's up because what? we're, we're going to try and do it in an hour and a half this time. For the first time ever, we're going to try and get this finished in an hour and a half. And we've got 10 minutes. Hang on, Sean, Sean, hold up, hold up, hold up. Quill, did you just say Martin Sherpin? <laughs> um, He's my age, by the way, Quillen, and we were 16 at that point. Okay, yeah. I'm just yeah. trying to think of Dutch guys. I, 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 I can only think of one. I, well, I wouldn't have written down anyway. I was pretty sure he was, um, I thought he was Liam's age. Yeah, but um, all right, well, crack on. I'm just going to write down <laughs> some randomers. All right, we're going back up to question one then. Name the three male riders with the most World Cup wins. Um, and any order, I'm not worried about the order, but I want the number of wins. 
Who's going first? Let's go with Bloomy. I've gone Sam, Maris, and Neek. Yes. Ah. Do you want any numbers as well or not? So I'll tell you now, you've got two of those correct. Oh, come on. I feel like Leon's going to explode. <laughs> well, that's fuming. Who, how many numbers you put for Kimmon? Me? Uh, no, let's stick, stick with Bloomy. I've gone 10 for Neek. Any advances on 10? Leon? Well, I've got... Oh, I went sixteen. I was <laughs> I was between ten. I was between ten and twelve. That's a good 12. start, that car. It's got twelve. Oh. Kim and went. Kim and won twelve. Who did you go with, Stromy? Bloomy. How many numbers? I went ten for Stromy. Too high, Cal. Ooh, Stromy's at eight. Stromy has at eight. Ah. Because Liam said that he got his seventh in Rock Hill, and then I remember he won Papendal in the Olympic year. Just took it to eight. Knowledge. No, no. Shall we just? That was the no. one when he. No, hang on. Which year was it where he lit everyone up on the second pedal? Twenty twelve. I twenty twelve. That's so good. Uh, every year, not just twenty twelve. Yeah, but that particular that was, second. That was second pedal was from the eight. most savage thing I've ever seen. Boots, they put yeah. Tory Nyog in his grave. Twenty <laughs> 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 seven. And he was just. He was just. Word, word is that's the reason why Tory's recently retired. Yeah, it wasn't his concussion. It was just a mental trauma. Finally caught up with him for that second <laughs> Who's our third rider then? Um, Quillen, you said someone else. Who did you say? I said Connor. Yeah, how many? Well, I put eight. Well, I'm guessing now that's is that right? Yeah, eight. Oh, lovely. So Kim and one twelve, and Stromy and uh, Connor won eight each. Wow, well, six round. points on offer there. Big round for Liam. Big round. Damn. Okay, question two was uh, the same but females. Uh, no one's really confident with this, are they? Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm going to start with Quillen because he said the first one he went big. Who did you go big? Laura. Yeah. How many? 19. 19, yes. Yeah. Oh. Liam, you're, you're on fire, aren't you, Liam? Mate, I've had a good bit of Patron on. The, that, that is the fuel. I feel like everyone's going wrong. You've you been seeing it on University Challenge. They're just going to line them up. Okay, who was the second one? Stick with Mariana. Quinn. Yeah, Mariana, how many? I just guessed and said 11. Four. I put nine. <gasps> I went 10. I went oh. 10. Oh. is correct. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Bijan got 10. This next one, I'm not confident on. Though. No. No, this was a guess on mine. Go on, Bloomy, what's your guess? I know who it is, but I don't know how many. I went Elise. I was, it was a toss-up between Elise and Caro. Neither. Neither. Letitia the Corgill. Letitia, yeah. How many? Wait, wait, wait. Just went with Ooh. eight. Mm. Liam? How many? Yeah. I'm not confident on this at all. I went nine, but I think too many. Lower. Seven. Yeah. Oh, Letitia oh, got Leticia seven. Smolder's got 19. How many? Oh, who, who's fourth? And fourth? Like, did you check that? No, I'm only worried about three here. Don't try and catch me out. So if she's on seven, <laughs> uh, Sinead has got six. Yeah, shinny has got to be there, isn't she? So. Mm. Although Shinny can't remember what position she got in the Olympics. <laughs> <laughs> True. <laughs> Point. Next one. This this is the one where you two got excited. Cal and Leon got excited about this one. Um, Come on. So I'm going to let Cal show off on there. I'm going to. I might look stupid on one thing here, actually. Um, but his first one was 2002, and it was Sao Paulo. Is that right? Paulina. No. Yeah. That's out. not right. It was Brazil. Brazil. Yeah. Brazil. Anyway. Paulina. Uh, we're, we're lucky. We're lucky, aren't we? That we were only going countries. 
Yeah, yeah. we are. Anyway, got it wrong. Oh three was oh three in Perth. Perth, where, please? Canada, Victoria, Canada. Yeah, nice. Two thousand and three, Perth, Australia. Two thousand and seven, oh. Victoria, in Canada. I, I, I thought his first one was two thousand and one, and the second one was in uh, Australia. So I was right about the second his second one title being in Australia, but I put it two thousand two. The Perth one is where he thrown the, the the tweaks in, weren't it? Over that second straight. Yeah. Close close quickly, but no cigar that one. Yeah. Is that yeah. Sean, how many po- how many points is that? Uh six. Six available. So for the year well, and then for the country. Terrible. This round has stung me here because for all the answers really I'm like five years old. You <laughs> you was pretty down the bottom anyway by that by before this round. Mate, Blue he was riding the ball at that point. He was 25, mate. <laughs> Pete. Not, not far off, mate. Not far off. <laughs> mate, he was lasting 31.8 seconds riding the ball. <laughs> <laughs> right, question four was uh, the three winners in South Africa 2010. It was the junior woman that threw you off mostly. Um, go on in, Quillen. Make amends. Uh, Maris. Sylvan and Sinead's, but I don't know the junior woman. I didn't even put a thingy down. What? You didn't take a guess? You're worse than my students at no. school on multiple really choice, don't. so they don't know it, so I'm not going to put anything. Well, it wasn't even a multiple choice. <laughs> Pick a junior woman. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Gloomy, uh, did you get it? I went for a guess. Rachel Bracken? Ooh. No. She was way too pissed. Cal, <laughs> <laughs> uh, who did you go for? Merla Van Bantham. Liam, same. you went for the same. Wow. It is Merla. Oh, my God. Sylvan Andre won it after Connor blew up. Yeah, I actually wrote so Connor down first, and then realised like he crashed. He was mad. And that. do you remember? Do you remember Corbin's crash in the semi? Why did he crash on the pro set? He looped out. He landed in the back wheel and looped yeah, out. Yeah, do you remember that? Nice one. It was well bad. <laughs> right then, the final one, the big one. Sixteen marks on this one. This could be won or lost right here. Yeah. Two thousand and four. So. Liam, was your crash was your crash before this final? Me? Yeah, Liam, was your crash before this final? Yeah. So you might not I was brown, even have seen it. Oh, Brett, <laughs> you know that for ages. That's that's an awful <laughs> call. Um, so, Cal, the the fan. Let's go to you. Let's see how much of a fan you are. Right. So Warwick Stevenson won. Yep. Two marks. Christian Besserin. He got second. Kyle Bennett was in second, but Besserine did him up the second turn. Well, it's first 180 turn. Bubba Harris got third after blowing his gate. Yeah. And uh, I got really fuzzy after this. Uh, I don't know who got fourth, but I put Jason Richardson because I know he was in there. He was in it, but he didn't get fourth. Oh, wow. Who um, got who got and then I don't, I don't know, I don't know who got six. There was one person who, who I didn't have a clue, so I guessed. I put Greg Romero, but I'm pretty sure it was not him. He wasn't in it. No. And then seventh and eighth, I think Evo Lacouch crashed in the first turn, and Deville Devilda crashed in the last turn on the tyres. Is it so? You say oh, Evo was seventh and Rob was eighth. Yeah. Okay, so they're correct. Seventh and eighth. So we've got four, fifth, and sixth. One of which you've said is Jason Richardson. Uh, Liam, did you fill in the gaps? So I had um, Warwick, Christian, Bubba. Yeah. And then I, I also had Jason Richardson in four. Yeah. Is that not right? No, he got sixth. Uh, okay. And then I had Bennett in fifth. Yeah. And then I had Lacouch sixth. Lacouch got seventh. Bloomy, and- fill the gap in. Have you got it? And then Bob in uh, eight, but I don't know. I didn't even put a seven down. 
So we've got Warwick Stevenson first, Christian Bessery in second, Bubba Harris got third, the fourth place is missing, Carl Bennett in fifth, Jason Richardson sixth, Ivo Lacucci seventh, Rob DeWilda in eighth. Who got fourth? Has anyone got it? But uh, Bloomy smiling, you've got it, haven't you? Yeah, it's an Ameri- American. Come on, tell me who. Berkheimer. Yes, Nate. Oh, Berkheimer. Oh, good shout, Bloomy. Oh. Yeah, I, I got I got Warwick, Bubba, Afro Bob, and Kyle on that. So I done well. Did you get I them in the right place, or did you just get the names? I only, I only got uh, Warwick in the right place. Can you just re- sure, can you just repeat who got fourth? Uh, Berkheimer. Yeah, Berkheimer, Berkheimer, yeah. Berkheimer was, was fourth. So Warwick Stephen first, Christian Bessery got second, Bubba Harris got third, Nate got fourth, uh, fifth was Carl Bennett, sixth was Jay Rich, seventh was Evo, and eighth, Afro Bob De Wilder. Bloomer, did you get all of them? Got, no, I got Evo and Bob the wrong way around. Oh, mate, that was a good shout with Berkheimer. Great shout. Was a good you got 14 in that one, Blue Me. Cool. In that question alone. Dame. Total them up. This this could be close now. I definitely came last because of that. <laughs> <laughs> definitely. It's a bit of up here, Sean. Sorry, mate. You can have these questions though as as a consolation for your app. Yeah, all right, thank you. <laughs> I, uh, 31, Sean. 31, that ain't a bad round at all. Uh, 30. 30 for Cal. 29. 29 for Bloomy. You still counting? Blue's there weren't that many to count, Colin. I've had so not going to lie. Say again. I said I'm well impressed with the Berkheimer answer. That is a great shout. Well, I was interested when Colin said there was four Americans in there. I was like, shit, if he knows that when he's eight years old. <laughs> was that a wild guess? Or did you know there was yeah, four? I'm pretty sure. Like I, I've seen, I've watched it a few times, but I just didn't know. It's an iconic it's main, isn't it? It's mental. Yeah, is. Warwick's first yeah, straight is ridiculous. Warwick's first straight is that. mental, yeah, yeah. He didn't even gate. He just left, left went the gate, was on the flat, on the ground, and then he started pedalling. And then Afro Bob going around that last corner, like, still full flat out with a bike not even underneath him. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to go watch that after this. It was a good, oh, it was a good yeah. fun. I actually downloaded bit. it and put it on. Yeah, that first straight for me. Quinn, how many did you get in that last round? I've got LP. LP, what was 18. that? 18. Yeah, that was it, Eh? Looks like a bit too good to be true. It was a a straight ahead of its time, should we say? Fucking hell, unbelievable. Uh, that's, that whole track was, I love that track. That was my favourite track, that and Valet 99. You could, ra- you could race that Vulcan Squad track now. Yeah, 100%. But what they changed it, and I don't like the changes now. And now it would be so small, and it would just be like, be like fucking embarrassing. Do you know what I mean? Ninety degree turns were just dreadful. I hate ninety degree turns. Was it the Wall of Death? The first corner they nicknamed it or something, weren't it? And then you jump up that double, and then on the way down there was another double. That was just quality. Yeah, was good. Yeah. That, do you know how fast the gate was at that Euro round in twenty ten? Yes. Oh, Horrible. God. Oh, it's it's disgusting. Impossible to do anything. Well, I better give everyone the scores before they all start switching off. Okay, in fourth place, yeah. as we probably know, was Quillen is a door on 34 points. Um, your man who got onto the podium, the oldest man here, 40th birthday next year, Marcus Bloomfield. How many points? Uh, a lot more than you. 43. Damn. Uh, in second on 40 in the last points, more, I, think. Oh, no, I think I did Cal Strickland the fan came second and would you believe it how many points did you get Cal 46 Cal got and 46. the winner four times four out of four get it on his on his profile he knows he's going to change it <laughs> bigger than any <laughs> bigger than any world four times champ 50 points you only dropped eight marks yeah. Wow. That is a big, big 
push. I've had, an, I've had an unfair advantage. I've play, been playing this for a few weeks now. We should have been I've picked up a few of the uh, the answers along the way. That's true. Probably true. A domestic rank, Cal. What 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 years would you have chosen? Any. 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 Domestic, what, mate. Literally just for a zero now. Maybe we can do a spin-off yeah, yeah. series with Cal being a domestic goddess of. I was thinking of goddess. I was thinking about how many the questions that you could do, and there could have been some great domestic questions. Yeah, but yours would be like, who won semi-final in 30, 34 cruiser? No, it wouldn't. It would just be yeah, just put it. You know, do superclass questions or or elite questions or whatever, because that's what we've all raced in. To be fair, Liam, you would struggle with that because you didn't know how many like wins you'd had or anything, did you? And that's you I'll be, yourself. I'll be absolutely useless. That's why we needed it. <laughs> they said, like, when we were first talking about doing the quiz, the guys were like, oh, what years did... I mean, they, they're still convinced that I won a national series. I'm, I'm not so fucking sure. In, in what? In elite? Yeah. Nah. Yeah, see? There you go. Nah. Do enough rounds uh, in one year. Uh, no. I don't know. They reckon they reckon not once but twice. You actually. know what? We did an interview. BMX Hype did an interview with you in 2013, and I'm sure we talk about a win. I need to go back onto my U- onto uh, the YouTube. I, I don't know. I you've, reckon... won a, you've won the British champ, don't you? Not a yeah. national title. I won the Brits a few times. Yeah. It might be a Brit. Do you remember the, talking about that? Do you remember the Chad, last Cheddar Brits main, Liam? Yeah, that was after the Olympics uh, in London. Yeah, I got a heater and nearly bounced off you and crashed on the first straight. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> remember that. Well, like, we, yeah, better I say, the... we better say our goodbyes to the people, don't we? Before they start switching off. Look, guys, we've done it for four weeks. I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, please stay safe. Please listen to all your local councils and the tracks and all that kind of stuff because I know some are open, some are not. Um, and remember to donate to Kai's Fund as well. That's why we started this. Um, great. If you haven't seen the video of his, uh, there, there was a bit of a news news briefing. It was quality. It's good to see him up on his feet and actually getting moves. Um, it's still on the BMX Hype Facebook page. So have a little scroll down to that. It's well worth a watch. And that is why we are asking you guys to donate little bits, as much as you can, little as you can, anything really, um, and show the support to fellow BMX riders. Look, that's what we're here about. We're looking after each other. So. If you've enjoyed the last four weeks, I'm f- sorry, we're not doing any more. This is the end. But that's what it's all about. Get donating and we might do something in the future. So peace out and a massive thank you to these guys who have joined us along the way. And Liam's four times champ. Can't believe it. <laughs> Anything you want to say, boys, before we go? Cheers, boys. Cheers, Cheers boys. Well done for doing this, Sean. Nice one. Okay. All right.